Up next on Behind the Mystery, we're talking about Hodgkin lymphoma. Take a look. According to the American Cancer Society, approximately 8,000 cases of Hodgkin lymphoma will be diagnosed in the United States in 2019. It's one of the most curable forms of cancer and has a five-year survival rate of 87%. Today on Behind the Mystery, we'll learn more about Hodgkin lymphoma, what to expect, and what to discuss with your doctor. We start with a leader in lymphoma research at City of Hope, hematologist and oncologist Dr. Alex Herrera. So Hodgkin lymphoma is a cancer of the immune system. In particular, it's a cancer of a cell called a lymphocyte that lives in lymph nodes. And so when a patient develops a Hodgkin lymphoma, they'll actually form a tumor or mass in the lymph nodes. Now the lymph nodes uh, are an important place where lymphocytes live. Uh, they train um, and develop there, uh, waiting to fight any infection that the body may encounter. Some of the signs of, uh, or symptoms of Hodgkin lymphoma uh, may be um, you know, fevers, night sweats, fatigue or tiredness, chills, a rash, they may have itching with or without a rash. Some patients actually develop pain in their lymph nodes uh, when they drink alcohol. To diagnose Hodgkin lymphoma, a lymph node biopsy uh, must be performed. Um, and uh, once the lymph node biopsy is performed, uh, the pathologist will look at that tissue under the microscope uh, to determine whether or not it appears to be Hodgkin lymphoma. They'll often perform special testing on the tissue to uh, identify the particular type of cell that represents a Hodgkin lymphoma. It can be quite difficult to figure out that a patient has Hodgkin lymphoma even when looking at the tissue under the microscope. The Hodgkin lymphoma tumor cells are actually quite rare um, and what a pathologist will be seeing is, is mainly just normal cells, um, normal immune cells um, surrounding these very rare tumor cells of Hodgkin lymphoma. A lot of time many patients come to us with a different diagnosis and we realize that it's actually Hodgkin lymphoma. At 27 years old, Michael Pazmont had just married his wife, Madeline, and found out he was about to become a father when he was diagnosed with Hodgkin lymphoma. I currently work at Child Children's Hospital as an emergency medical technician. Every day it's something different. You don't know what to expect. One day it can be saving a baby's life. Another can just be comforting a young child in need. And so I get such a satisfaction out of working at the hospital where I also volunteer on the side at Montebello Fire Department as a fire inspector. I've been married to Madeline for a little over a year now and we have a four month old named Micah. My son is growing up as a healthy baby boy and he is a delight to be around all the time. So my symptoms started with initial night sweats and those would go on and off frequently for a couple months. And then I started receiving really bad lower back lumbar pain. Running became a difficult task for me. I could easily run two miles before and all of a sudden it was 100 feet and I'd be completely out of breath gasping for air. The night sweats just continued getting worse and worse. I'd wake up drenched in my sweat, almost like I jumped in a pool. Okay, all these symptoms really became troublesome to me after one night. I was going down to my car and then all of a sudden, I had the most difficult time breathing. I was gasping for air, coughing, and couldn't catch my breath. And so I knew instantly when I went upstairs to my apartment, I told my wife I need to make an appointment with my primary care physician because something was very wrong with me. Michael visited his primary care physician who attributed his symptoms to asthma. His instincts, as well as a suggestion by a coworker, made him insist on a chest X-ray. The results showed fluid in his left lung and a biopsy confirmed a diagnosis of Hodgkin lymphoma. Waiting to find out what uh, my cancer was, it was very difficult. Uh, I have many family members that died of cancer and so for me, instantly I thought I'm gonna die. I, I didn't think there was any way out. We just found out a few days before that my wife had been pregnant. All that could uh, run through my head was I wanna see my child. But my wife stood by my side 100% of the way, maintaining that positive attitude. She really helped me get through this difficult time in my life. And with uh, my son on the way, I know I needed to keep fighting for something way bigger than just myself.
And the treatment of Hodgkin lymphoma uh, typically is determined by stage. Uh, so a patient with early stage disease or stage one or two disease, for example, uh, where the disease is just on one side of the body versus patients who have uh, stage three or four disease or advanced stage disease, where patients uh, can have disease in multiple parts of their body. There are various risk factors that we consider uh, when we're trying to determine a treatment plan for a patient, uh, including a patient's age, um, other laboratory parameters, and even other illnesses or uh, other diseases that a patient may have. Historically, the treatment of Hodgkin lymphoma uh, depends on stage and includes chemotherapy and or radiation. There are newer treatment options, uh, including targeted therapies or immunotherapies and others being studied as part of clinical trials. And so uh, I try to have a pretty in-depth conversation with my patients about the different options uh, and empower them to make decisions about, about their care. I decided to go to City of Hope for a second opinion where I got seen by Dr. Herrera. From there, we decided to start uh, discussing uh, treatment options where he sat down with me, was very uh, specific as far as the choices I had. And so it gave my wife and I an opportunity to go home and do some research to find what would best suit me and my road to recovery. Okay, so throughout my treatment, I found it very important to maintain a positive attitude the entire way. I ensured that every picture that was taken of me had a smile on my face. When I'd be able to look back on those pictures, I knew that I was fighting the best I could. After treatment for Hodgkin lymphoma, it's important to follow up with your care team. We'll often check labs to make sure that the blood counts are okay and to, to make sure that the body's handled the treatment well and ultimately get back to normal life. He said, we have good news. He tells me, well, you know, you're in remission. He had to tell me twice because it didn't hit me until that second time because I was at a loss of words. I called my wife and I had to try to retain my composure the best I could, but well, I told her, well, I'm in her mission and she breaks down crying with me on the phone. And it was the most enlightening experience I think I could say that I've, I've had in my life. Uh, my mentality's changed quite a bit post-treatment. My, my way I view life is definitely, I find it way more valuable and so, I find myself enjoying every minute I have with my son and my wife to be able to really spend quality time with them because I hate to take any of that for granted. My advice for patients uh, who are diagnosed with Hodgkin lymphoma or the caregivers is to really uh, feel empowered uh, to ask any question um, about the disease, about the illness, about the treatment. Um, I think it's, it's important for, um, to have an open dialogue with the care team and, and make sure that you know, any questions or concerns are really, are really answered. On HodgkinHub.com, you can download a list of questions to ask your doctor. Uh, it's important to feel like you're taking a, an active role in your care um, and in the treatment plan. After getting treated for my Hodgkin's lymphoma, I've been really wanting to give back, and midway through my treatments, I thought of a way to, which is starting up Survivor Society, which is an organization that is meant to be a network of cancer survivors and those undergoing cancer treatment. Now, Hodgkin's lymphoma can be a very difficult disease, but when you do everything you can to continue fighting, it is all worth it. If you or someone you know has been diagnosed with Hodgkin lymphoma, it's important to be informed. For more information, visit HodgkinHub.com, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society at LLS.org, Lymphoma Research Foundation at Lymphoma.org, and CityofHope.org.